Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to tar and untar files uh, with Golang. We will do uh, simple tar files and also tar gz. Now, uh, for that, I created a package uh, which makes everything uh, really, really simple. And we're going to uh, see how to use this package and then we're going to implement. Uh, uh, tarring and untarring into a small CLI uh, program which will basically uh, be similar to the tar utility in uh, uh, Linux and Unix based system. So to start I'm going to use uh, my CLI template which I created a while ago and I made a video about it and if you want to see how to uh, do it from scratch you can click here and really build this uh, from the bottom up and if not you can just join me and i'll download it and start from there the result will be exactly the same so uh, let's start by downloading this uh, template Let's clone it. Let's create So we have uh, our template, let's just move everything from inside to here. Oops. Uh, let's remove template, okay, great. Okay, so let's open the ID. Okay, uh, so let's see what we have here. The make file looks uh, pretty straightforward. For now, we're not going to change here nothing. Uh, let's go to the main and see what we have here so let's do some cleaning from uh, the version and again if you build it uh, from scratch uh, from my pre uh, previous video you will get to the same point so let's do some cleaning let's first remove the header because I don't want the header in this uh, small program so let's delete it uh, let's delete the header from this file and uh, let's delete it from the imports and we'll leave the options for now and we'll do, just do uh, some you know we're not going to do any cleaning now i will just want to show you how to implement the package uh, before we start building the uh, CLI itself so let's start by importing the package let's uh, go to the make file and oops, and bring our package the package called Terminator Go so now let's uh, get the package And we imported it successfully. Now let's close the make file. Oops, we're not going to need this. 
and let's go to the main file. <coughs> um, now let's just start by implementing uh, the package and then we'll build the CLI uh, itself. So let's just leave everything as it is for now and let's um, use our Tarnator. So to tar files we just use the Tarnator. Oh sorry I need to import which I didn't do. Let's import Tarnator. Oops. Oh it's automatically edited. So let's uh, delete one and let's use uh, the Tarnate uh, function or the Tarnate function function will need a path of paths of files or uh, directories which is a array of strings and it will need uh, the tar path which is uh, the um, the file um, which we want to create the tar file we want to, cr to create with path or uh, in the same uh, directory that we run this program so so in order to do that I'm going to create some paths so let's just uh, let's just say we want uh, to take the package uh, directory and the make file And let's uh, pass the paths uh, to the terminator and uh, create the output, which should be tar and tarjz. Now, the way it works that if you add tarjz, it will create a tarjz file, and if you add just a tar, it will create a tar file. So that's as simple as that. Uh, now it will return an error so let's handle that error oops oops so let's say uh, that if the error uh, is not nil let's just log uh, fail and show basically there and then return okay so that will uh, tar the the path uh, into the output and it will run as soon as we run the program so let's just check it let's uh, build program perfectly works and let's run it and as you can see we get the output tarjz file uh, and if we uh, untar it into I don't know temp uh, directory let's see if it's empty no it's not empty so let's empty it great empty now let's tar um, our output to temp Oops. and now we can see we have the make file and the package uh, in our uh, uh, temp directory so let's just remove it again and now uh, let's do the untarring so and as you can see it's fairly simple just to tar uh, a tar and tar gz file so now let's do the same uh, to untar uh, it's simply called untarnate uh, and what we need uh, to give to this function is the extract path and the source file so the extract path let's say we take it to temp and the source file will be oops the output tar gz file uh, and the uh, same as the terminate, this will return us an error so let's handle the error 
Oops. And if O is uh, not, oh, sorry, not nil. Let's log O failed. Let's give the O back and let's return, right? So oh, we don't need to declare again about on the, the error because we did just declared it here. So that would um, compress into our paths to the output uh, tau gz and then decompress them, extract them. Sorry to the temp uh, folder. So let's see. Oops. Let's see that uh, we have this working. Great, now let's see that uh, our temp file is empty, it is, and let's run this. So we don't need to give it anything, and now let's uh, see, here we have the output, tau gz file, and here we have uh, the extracted make file and package that we uh, asked. Super. Now let's just remove everything and uh, remove the output file. Great. So uh, for the part of using the package, this is about it. Uh, as I said before, uh, if you will uh, give to this uh, tarnate and untarnate function only uh, the tau uh, suffix, then it will create a tau file and if you add the gz it also will compress it uh, with gz so uh, this is the sim as simple as it gets now you can obviously give it as much uh, directories or files uh, that you want obviously if you have a lot of files you should um, give it a root uh, directory and compress that one so this was the first part now for the second part we're going to create a CLI program that will use Tarnate and Untarnate. So, um, to do that, let's start. So, just uh, clean this up a little bit. Let's let's clean uh, and start uh, from our options. So, what options we, we, do we need? We need what flags do we need? We need. Uh, to specify what files or directories uh, we're going to use so we're going to compress so let's call it C and compress and let's say compresses no let's say the file or For and let's call it this way. Now the second one will be the uh, extract flag, which which will specify uh, where to extract. Now in our example. I just hard coded uh, the temp deal, but uh, in a CLI program, we want to give uh, the user the opportunity to specify it for himself. So let's say uh, path to extract the tar file. And lastly, we will need uh, uh, to name our tau file. So here I just hard coded the output uh, tau gz, but uh, again, we want to let the user decide how we want to call it and if you want to gz it, uh, gzip it or not. So let's just call it this way. Uh, let's say uh, turn name and path uh, so let's just uh, help the user to understand uh, use the, the gz uh, suffix 
Ага. Язык. Files. And, and that's it. Uh, we will not need this one, and we will use uh, the help uh, flag. Uh, so now let's see how we are managing the flags. If you uh, remember from the uh, uh, CLI uh, template video, <coughs> um, so let's start with the extract path which will be a string which uh, will be fairly easy so we just change it to extract extract right uh, we will change those to also to extract perfect e uh, for the minus flag and extract the full convention for the minus minus and for the default it will be empty and description is pointless because we are giving the descriptions in the options uh, menu oh sorry so let's change it to tarinato cool so that was fairly easy the second one will be the file which is also a string which will also be fairly easy so we just duplicate it and call it a file let's call both of those again a file and f and a file for the full convention and let's just let's just use it later and the third one is a little bit tricky because uh, this the compress files or directories flag will need to uh, include several or unlimited amount of, um, of of files or directories because you want to give the user the opportunity to specify uh, as many uh, files and directories as you want uh, so for that we will need to use interfaces and interfaces are uh, uh, a subject that for me was kind of hard to uh, to understand in the beginning and I'll try to s to simplify it as much as I can but if you still um, kind of having a hard time with it just comment below and I might do another video about just interfaces just to uh, explain it a little bit more uh, deeper um, but basically to uh, create an array of arguments uh, in, in a flag what we're going to use is flag var so let's, let's just delete those because uh, we're not going to use both of those we're going to use the help uh, we're going to use the help so I'm going to leave it and let's add the var on the second one and let's call it uh, compress compress and compress sorry and let's just finish the press and this will be by default empty Oh, sorry. So in in, in uh, var we don't need we don't have the default. Uh, so the way it works is var is uh, accepting a value which is of type value and name of type string which we know from string val and the usage which is simply the description. Now the type the first type the value let's go to the function the value is an interface with string and set so in order to pass uh, a, a value that uh, implies this interface we need 
to uh, to to, the, to to we need the object that we are passing will uh, uh, apply for those uh, for, for for that uh, interface. So uh, any and uh, eventually it will be a string uh, an array of strings because this is what we want to get from our uh, flag. So first let's create our um, our type so it will be let's call it let's call it uh, string slice and it will be a, a an array of strings and slice of uh, strings sorry and now to implement uh, to include uh, uh, this object into the value and interface we will add the functions and let's just call it string strings oops sorry oh i missed the key there so let's thanks nice and as we saw we need uh, to have the set function right we need to have the string function and the set function the strings function uh, takes nothing and returns a string and the set function takes a string and returns an error so let's start uh, with this with the string function takes nothing turns an error and oops see and let's let it uh, just return Uh, we'll just let it return a string so it will be just that so it will be a pointer uh, of that and the second function will be the function that will create our uh, our array a slice so let's do the same slice and this will be the set function which will take a string and return an error so it will take the value and return an error if error occurs and what we're going to do here is just append uh, to our uh, object to our string slice append uh, every value that we get from uh, the command line which will uh, look like that and we'll return return nil this case not going to handle the error because uh, nothing really here can return an error that we need so now uh, our our uh, um, string slice object can be passed here so sorry here uh, to the value uh, object so let's just Uh, change compress in oops oh, how do you spell it second uh, compress yeah it's double one so 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 now uh, what we're doing here is we'll we'll add the values uh, to the slice uh, and we can uh, add this way as much uh, values that we want let's just uh, make 
here a little bit of beautification we don't need this anymore and yeah we don't need this because this will be uh, the compress uh, uh, slice and we don't need this because this will be the file right and we don't need this because this will be the extract flag and this will be again the file okay so now let's start um, uh, using the flags um, uh, for our uh, tarnet and untarnet uh, functions so let's see if we have the LAN of uh, compress which is the files uh, for uh, and, and then directories for uh, compression if it's above zero meaning that we have at least one specified by the user we will uh, use the terminate function now let's be, uh, instead of return we will use uh, the OS exit because it is a command uh, command line program and let's return a one it's automatically added the uh, OS package so just make it a little bit beautiful uh, prettier and let's uh, add a little bit more uh, informative uh, error printing let's say failed tiling uh, to file with uh, error this uh, and let's give it the name of our file and we need to declare the error object oh sorry I did it in the wrong place forgive me for that so we'll just copy paste it here and we have a file and everything looks good let's just add a small print uh, for notifying uh, the user we started uh, uh, the tar process and started start uh, creating a tar file named and let's just give it the name of the uh, tar file we're going to create cool so um, so so this will cover um, the first part um, now let's create the the, the logic uh, for the antal and for the antal uh, we will just use the extract uh, if so if extract is not an empty string which means the user uh, inputted uh, to the extract something some path use the minus e or minus minus extract uh, flag so we'll extract it we'll give it the path uh, which we used in the flag and the file and we'll do the same failed on towering uh, file this with oops, error sorry this and this will be the same again instead of the return let's uh, return it a one and that looks fairly good let's do something 
uh, just log that we started the untang process start ant antaring a file say this to pet and let's say uh, specify the we print the path that we're going to untile to so let's uh, oops okay so that looks fairly good let's just get rid of all of the what is left from the template let's delete uh, some imports that we had and that, that, that looks fairly good. Let's try to build it and see what happens. So we have an arrow, cannot use FNTS print S, type string as type L in our term. N31. So what's going on here? Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, in uh, in the string uh, uh, function, we return a string and not an arrow. Sorry, so this would be a string. Let's try it again. Perfect, and it compiles perfectly. And now let's try to activate it. So let's make sure that we don't have anything in the temp folder. And obviously you don't need to uh, use the temp, but I like to use it, so it is what it is. And now let's um, use the binary, let's specify the, say, the package folder, the make file, and let's say the, uh, I don't know, the, yeah, the whole SLC uh, 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 folder. Let's specify the file name that we want. So let's say output uh, tal and oops, gz. And uh, that's about it. Let's punch it. And you see we have a print start creating a tal file named output uh, tal gz. And here it is. And now let's extract it, uh, the, the output gz to the temp folder so we're going to use the extract flag we're going to specify temp and the file will be the output we have and start on telling file and if we go and see what's going on in tmp we have our uh, file so uh, so it works that's cool right uh, now, uh, one small thing that bugs me that I, I want to have print also when it ends time. So let's let's do something like that. Uh, finish creating, and let's do s exact same thing. Sorry, let's do something like that here. Finished untying file to path uh, file. Level. Okay, so that's cool. Another thing uh, is that I want to check if uh, one of my files uh, that I pass or files or directories uh, that I passed uh, uh, that all of them uh, exist. So I won't go to trying to tell directories that are not there. So for that, before we're starting to uh, our tell process, let's do a small for loop. Uh, let's just say, uh, I don't know, whatever. And Let's uh, follow the our slice of uh, commands, and let's say that if and we don't want, we don't care about what we're going back. We just want the error. If OS st 
uh, start of that path uh, if we got an error that does not exist we're going to log an error and quit so one file or the there the specified do not exist and let's print the file name so the user will know what's pro what problem that does he have and let's quit the uh, pro program so sorry and with the one so that that will give us some protection now the other protection i want to add is that if we don't if the user don't specify uh, the the tau file name which is also will be a problem in both cases uh, uh, with tarring it and with uh, with with tarring the file and with untarring the file. So, if file is equal to an empty string, we will want to log an error. Let's just uh, log it without any. And um, specifications, let's just say no uh, tar file name path uh, was found was specified, right? Okay, was found. And again, uh, let's exit the program. Yeah, and with that, I think we are uh, done. Let's see, let's save it and see uh, if it compiles. Perfect. And actually kind of surprising, but it does compile. So now, wait, let's do a final test. Let's uh, rem sorry. Let's remove the output file. Let's oops. Let's uh, empty the temp. Um, uh, and now let's uh, you know let's just try both star and tau gz just to see how it works. So let's um compress the package let's compress the bin and let's compress the source right and let's put it into the temp folder and let's call it targz and we see that we're creating and we are finished and let's do the same with only tau and uh, both happening and now if we uh, list the temp we see that both uh, were created now let's see if we can see uh, a size changes between the two because those are not the same and we can see that the tau is obviously a lot much bigger than the gz gzip file because is compressed with uh, gzip so now let's um, um, let's let's open one of them and let's just the file is in temp let's say output uh, tau. let's open the gz one and the path will be also in temp and we finished the tarring 
you can see that in temp we have our package and we have our source and bin and everything is working perfectly okay guys so with that i think i'm going to finish because this video is kind of getting a little bit longer than i uh, that i was planning um, i will add all the links in the description the link to the cli template uh, the link to this project and the link to uh, the Talinator uh, package and I hope it was uh, clear and helpful and if not or if yes uh, please comment below and uh, let me know what you thought what you feel about this uh, kind of video because I have uh, in my mind much more videos that I want to do uh, and with that I can say only goodbye so bye bye